Hello, hello. Now Charlie Vodafone becomes Telesel. So now they, if they use Vodafone, you know, go see Vodafone again. Uh, you know, go receive message from Vodafone again. The name will go appear be Telesel. All right. So meaning say they sell Vodafone. Okay. So make you take you make I take you back small to like 2008. So before 2008, no Vodafone and now Ghana Telecom, no it was hundred percent. Owned by the government of Ghana, what I say, there's a national scene in Ghana for there. So 2008, you know, and they sell, they sold like 70 percent to like Vodafone uh, worldwide. Also Vodafone, almost UK. Then they plenty places. So it was 2008, you know, and Ghana sold 70 percent to like Vodafone. And so now, you know, then Ghana they own like 30 percent. So then people they ask say ah but why did Ghana sell his like seven sell seventy percent shares to Vodafone and things? You know the bab we are Ghana for we we now go free manage on a thing make and make it make better. Uh -huh. So it be cool four time where this thing happen. Yes, be cool four time where they sell that seventy percent to Vodafone. Yeah, but so then what people they talk say okay maybe. At that time, they check like MTN with them get their monopoly. So maybe then Kufo the system, maybe Ghana for now. We don't get infrastructure, we don't get plenty things we we go fee manage uh, Ghana Telecom and uh Vodafone make it can't compete with MTN. So maybe that why then go sell give Vodafone because that time to Vodafone, you say Vodafone you go UK then they you go Italy, more most of these European countries then they so maybe that be why Kufo sell give them so that they go come invest in infrastructure, they then go feel compete with MTN, then my prices go come down. But actually, Vodafone for buy them in a bomb. So now Vodafone them and network self no good. Uh, still a uh, MTN way then get the monopoly and things. Uh -huh. So I think last last year or something we hear so okay another company they come take over Vodafone. So their name be. Tell us, tell us. So now, no, it be them. If Vodafone really sold all their shares there, it means it be them then go own the seventy percent shares, and the Ghana government go own, install the thirty percent shares. Yes. Anyway, we hope say this people to go come invest in infrastructure, uh -huh, so that at least no auto data it go be very smooth. The my network go be better and things. Because most Ghanaian people, the reason why it's still an empty and game. Most customers be say people they complain say Vodafone them and network and it be some way, uh, so at least to make them invest in more infrastructure and things, we then go make the network better. All right, in Timin Kasa, we're gonna make we just look at the event that happened. Sarko there was in attendance. Uh, Dance with God was there. Giovanni and plenty other people. So make we just check check out the event. All right, so the event was organized at the Tete Kwashi Runabout, that is Accra Mall. So here be Giovanni and some TV3 personnel at the launch of Telesel at the Accra Mall. And I said Tete Kwashi Runabout. See the way they make happy. I should say, child, then give them some money and things. Yeah, this guy to be, is this Israeli? Yes, Israeli. I think he also works with other Joy Prime. Yes, Joy Prime. Yes, I think he used to work with TV3 in those times. And this be Dance Lloyd God, one of the best dancers we have in Ghana. Yeah, into the environment. Let's go to the event. Charlie be star. You see the way the ladies, they rush them and things. They won't take picture plus some. It will be easy. All right. And these are the the big men and the big women, I should say, of Telesel. Telesel Ghana. Alright, so here we have some of the uh, participants and things. They are happy jamming to some Ghanaian songs and things. Yes, and we also have the Ghana Army here to support the launch of the event uh, with some then they showcase them my talent and things. All right, so make we check out what they did.
Deli Cell Group. Government of Ghana kept their 30%. It's been one year of transition. And yesterday, we began the unveiling of the Telesol brand, which means the end of using the Vodafone brand. What this means for us is that we are going to see a renewed commitment to the investment into our network, to the way we interact with our customers, and also the digital solutions that you are going to get through mobile financial services. I think one of the big things that touched my heart is the fact that we are going to continue with the work we are doing with the foundation, but a big investment into communities and investing in startups. This is fantastic. So we can only get better from the video you saw. We can only get better, bigger, and, and, and better. I was saying to the team yesterday when we were doing the unveiling and um, with the... Into Telesel Ghana. And will put also its heart and soul and the company, which is and will continue to be the flagship of Telesel Group in West Africa. As of today, Vodafone Ghana has become Telesel Ghana. Whatever the brand is, So they also had some dancers at stage to entertain the crowd. You check like now, no. If you are organizing any event, if you have these social media powerful influencers, the dancers and things so all come your program. So that at least you know, you yeah, do the marketing. So I think Sir Kodier came on stage to perform with these dancers. Yes, Sir Kodier, Yes. So that's Sir Kodier backstage. Sir Kodier is now coming on stage to perform with the dancers and things so charlie it is what it is i don't know whether if sack could be the uh, new brand ambassador there yeah but then it'll be bad it'll be bad but we will praise it they will feel make the data and things affordable the internet will be very better the course and things charlie the network will be very better all right so that be sack or there charlie james in there so rough uh -huh. So Dance God also joined them on stage here. He joined Sarkodie and the dancers on stage to perform. Yeah, so here one fan Bichali, he just climbed on stage. He didn't want to come hug Sarkodie Grig, but the security you know they allow him. But I think later Sarkodie went to hug him. So Charlie, hey, this what it is. So after the event, then Sarkodie for go greet some few fans. Then interact with the CEO and the other big men of Telecell. People they talk say uh, Telecell. A man from Susu Telecell. We then talk say Telecell. So Charlie, it is what it is. All right. All right. So thank you for checking out this video. Like the video. Drop your comments. Peace out. See you in the next episode.